Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Having effective communication in dev teams is very essential for the growth of the company and also the progress of a project that needs to be worked on. And there are many ways to have communication that through video calls, uh, audio calls, Skype, Discord, Slack, and the rest of the collaboration tools that are out there. One other way of also having uh, effective communication is through the commit messages from a project on GitHub or on GitLab or Bitbucket. Most of the time, there are weird commit messages like this. And in the end, it doesn't really properly communicate the uh, progress of the project or the one who worked on hasn't properly defined uh, what he has done or what she has done properly enough to the team for other person to easily know okay this person has done this i'm going to show you two ways you can use git commit messages to effectively communicate in a team the first way is to use uh, component based commit messages for example something like this over here, you realize the number of components inside the home folder. Let's say I worked on the app home. I added this. So let me add it here. I had to do that because I would already written git add. So in VS Code, you can do that in case you've written git add and you want to add what you're the already staged files so i made a change inside the home co component so in my git commit message I'll, i can say git commit and then because i take it as a feature i'll say feat to uh, sim symbolize feature and then i'll write the name of the component that i worked on then I will effectively write what a summary of what I did. So uh, it could be separated in comments depending on what you had done. But it shouldn't be extremely long. So something like this added a breaking tag to your component. You can omit the two components because the component name has already been written over here so now that we have this anyone that picks goes to github to see the pre last commit message the person will know oh, okay crosby worked on a project sorry on the home component up home component and then he added this particular change which is the breaking tag and it makes it easier for anyone to easily figure out okay this what has been done that is what has been done and another way of having your git commit is a project based approach for example if let's say we have a front end and a back end application inside the same folder probably you are planning to host it on uh, or put it in a container on docker or something so when you make a change inside the front end application you have to commit your messages to reflect your messages sorry to reflect your changes on production or your sandbox environment so you can do something like this git commit so since we made a change in the front end and then it's a project based i prefer to do it like this front end then i'll write the uh, component that I changed so I can say maybe um, I worked on the nav footer let's uh, let's comment out this and then add it to the staged files so I can say nav footer then I'll say remove unused console log
So having your git commit messages in these two formats will help your team so much and it will make your direction clear to the other developers as well. So you can consider writing your git commit messages like this to help in adding to the mode of communications for your dev teams.